Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Hijack it, hijacking your channel. Here we mm -hmm. go. Uh, we're all locked in the house, and right now we're in a season where we're kind of conserving ammo. I think mm -hmm. most people are. Right, I've been right. doing a lot of tests for uh, Pew Pew Tactical and just doing a lot, blowing ammo for those guys. Mm -hmm. But have you been shooting? What have you been shooting? Have you been thinking through ammo, trying to be careful, a little more careful with ammo? Where are you at with the current situation, specifically okay. with ammo. ammo and the range time? Um, what I would say is I have been shooting. Um you know, I don't really worry about ammo so much when it comes to the, because uh, Fort Scott Munitions, which I'm actually wearing their shirt, shameless plug, they do supply me with the ammo that they manufacture. So I'm not super worried about that. At the same time, um, nowadays with everything going on, I don't want to like burn through all of it because even they're having a tough time delivering to customers and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not, you know, we're not doing as many mag dumps as we would have done or shooting full auto and things like that. So I would say I probably have scaled back a little bit, but I'm still shooting those things when we do gun videos. Um, what's happening on the channel is there's not as many gun videos going out there. That's just because I think right now that the folks out there want to hear, um, are more interested in political stuff. So I do do gun videos and I put those up. But either YouTube or people just don't have the interest. We don't get as much stuff going on with that versus when we talk about stuff like this. So I've been I've been putting up snippets or talking about things happening in politics. I don't I don't super deep dive into that, like uh, uh, guns and gadgets and all that, because I think those guys do a better job than I do. But I do I do uh, get out there every um, every now and then if I feel real passionate about something. So. Yeah, and I think it's tough right now, and we'll get past it. Like we got through the past, it, the past, the ammo shortage of 2012. Mm -hmm. We've been through other things. This is going to pass, but even one of my reps for my ammo, it's uh, I called him the other day. I was like, dude, I am burning through the 556, five, like literally hundreds you, a day. Who do you rep? Let's give him a plug. Who do you rep? I don't, I don't rep anybody. Oh, okay. I just do, I do trade outs, but oh, it's do? all okay. for my, yeah, it's all for my pew pew tactical stuff. Oh, and cool. okay. So there's a bunch – we always show a bunch of different ones. Like Barnall always gets us stuff uh, to, so because we always want cheap stuff in there. Look, I yeah, Barnall's great. Yeah, I just happen to have some of that. That's something that I haven't been shooting because I haven't been able to get my hands on, it runs. on the 545. So – you it know. runs fine. Yeah. And uh, Dave, you know, Dave's doing all their stuff yeah. now. And mm -hmm. uh, I hollered at him the other day and said, I'm, hey, I'm doing, a, I'm doing a ton of AR stuff right now with Pew Pew. Mm -hmm. And I just need it. He's like, dude, I can't get it. So yeah. I think a lot of folks are having trouble practicing and uh, getting out to the range. We'll get yeah. past it. Yeah. I mean, I'm a hoarder of ammo. <laughs> and I also Adam. have a range. I think there's people like, you know, some ranges aren't letting people go out there like outdoor ranges. So I know some indoor, most of the indoor ones aren't doing it either. Uh, I'm not a fan of indoor ranges, to be honest with you, man. No, I, I almost never. I haven't shot an indoor range in years. Yeah. I don't do it unless I'm forced into it. <laughs> well, yeah. I, well, I'm in Tennessee and we got plenty of land here. So I yeah. shoot on a private range. I know a lot of folks just don't have that option. I am blessed mm -hmm. and I remind myself I'm blessed all the time. Uh, my editor hollered at me the other day and said, well, could I do a 400 yard project for Daniel defense? And mm -hmm. we're doing one with Daniel defense and one with SIG. I said, sure, bring it on. He goes, can you get, can you get land? I said, let me make a phone call mm -hmm. done. Yeah. So it's nice in Tennessee. I know a lot of folks don't have that option. Yeah. Yeah. Believe it or not. Um, I guess some people live in, uh, so I'm in Florida and maybe you would think, Hey, it's a lot of place places to shoot. Excuse me. Um, you know what? I think some people go live on, in those communities. So you can't, you know, it's not that easy in your community. And then maybe where you're living, you don't have access to farms and things like that, where people will let you shoot. So yeah, I know that's tough. Driving out into the desert, like for the folks that I know that live in uh, Nevada and stuff like that, man, they have to drive out. You got to pack up your truck with steel, you know, ammo, guns, drive out into the desert, be prepared for all kinds of crazy weather because it could be hot and then cold in the desert. Then you got to do all your shooting or whatever. Um, who knows who else is out there? Have you ever shot in the desert? I haven't. Uh, yeah. All of my buddies at Pew Pew, they are in there. Some of them are in California mm -hmm. and they have all that public land, like tons. I don't understand yeah. that. But they've got all that public land 
And I'm like, that's amazing. And they're like, no, it's not because no. they have to load it up. And yeah. they usually, to get the good shots with the rocks and everything mm -hmm. where it's not like full of garbage where morons leave stuff, they have to hike a quarter mile, which is not that long. But if you got tripods and all mm -hmm. your gear, it is a big hassle. And they take steel up there and it's hot. Mm -hmm. So I am happy to be in Tennessee. Yeah. It is hot here in the summertime and late summer. It just gets steamy. But like right now, it is gorgeous. So... I, I do count my blessings. Yeah, absolutely. I've been out in uh, Nevada in the desert uh, shooting, and sometimes it's been nice. And then sometimes you go to some of those public places, and you set up, and then someone decides to go behind you and start shooting or something crazy like that. Ones. Yeah, so, you know, uh, people just don't um, – what's, what's a nice way to put it? They don't think about other people. People are stupid. <laughs> That's the way now, to do. Let, it. Go ahead. Let me ask you this, uh -huh. Hank. Do you do you? And I know we got a lot of YouTubers in here, mm -hmm. and everybody in here is connected. We're all mm -hmm. part of the same team, right? Do you ever shoot with strangers? I don't mean like you go to a public range where mm -hmm. there's a range safety officer, mm -hmm. but if you ever go to a private range, would you shoot with a fan or shoot? Not a fan, but a viewer. I've got viewers here, and I hate it. I hate it, Hank. Mm -hmm. I had to tell somebody. I've told two in the past couple weeks. Mm -hmm. Hey man, I'm sorry. I think thanks for reaching out to me on Instagram. I know we're close mm -hmm. in proximity. I don't go shooting with strangers. Um, Chris Kyle always comes to mind. Mm -hmm. I'm not putting myself as a Chris Kyle, not sure. remotely. Mm -hmm. But I do not like shooting with people I don't know. I've had two people to my private range total. Yeah, there's always a fear of that. Now I have done it. You know, I have done it. There's people who have come out and and shot with us. Uh, I try to slow it down. Because one, because of what you're saying, if you don't know someone, so I'd rather take time and get to know people. Um, I'll try to meet people at a public range, you know, where it's someone else's thing. One of the things is like, so for me at my house, if something happens to you out there, I don't want my family to not have a place to live because something happened to you when you came to my house. And that's the yep. thing I, I try to tell people that, hey, you know, I know it looks cool that I'm out here shooting and all this stuff, but I want to limit who comes out here and shoots with us because if something happens to them, hey, all kinds of things could come out of that, lawsuits and all that. I think it's better to do it to at least meet at a public range and all of that and then, hey, maybe if we get to know each other and you know we jump through some hoops and I think I could trust you and trust you around my family like that, then, you know, because it's, it's not just me, right? Maybe if it was just me, I would be a little bit more, um, I don't know, reckless. So to speak. I, I fully agree. Like I would like to skydive. I'm not going to while I have kids at home. And yeah. when uh, there's a lot of things I would like to do, I'm just not willing to do it. I don't have an FFL right now. Mm -hmm. And I just like, there's too much meth here where I live. Mm -hmm. No tigers, but plenty of meth. And <laughs> the, the tigers wouldn't gonna... have teeth, man, which might, I don't know. That might <laughs> oh be cool. My gosh. <laughs> um, I'm just not doing that at our address. And I've had mm -hmm. people get mad. They're like, Oh, Johnny, it's not that big of a deal. Well, mm -hmm. mind your own beeswax. I just don't want my name and my address while the kids are there. Yeah. I just think, just eliminate the things that could cause a problem. All right, next question, Hank. I got one, yeah. another one for okay. you. We as content creators, there's kind of a rule. There's not enough time to watch everybody's stuff. Mm -hmm. I know Mr. Guns and Gear, Mike, mm -hmm. he watches everything, but he's he's a he's a crazy dude. Yeah. Who have you been watching lately? Who is who is killing it? Who's entertaining you? It could be Gun, could just be normal stuff. But what okay. have you been watching on YouTube, mm -hmm. and who and why? Good question. Mostly on YouTube, I do not watch gun things. None. Me neither. <laughs> so I'm into um, I, so I'm into a couple of different things. Lately, I've been into Hot Wheels. <laughs> I know that sounds like Hot Wheels restoration, the restoration stuff, or uh, the little the just collecting. If if you actually yep. saw my studio here, you would think, oh, this guy's crazy. <laughs> I'm down. I've this pl whole place is packed with Hot Wheels. I've got multiples of multiples. Like, I'll just grab something right now. So, like, right over here, I have, like, three of the same thing. And this is the Civic Type R. So, um, I look at a lot of videos about that stuff because I'm trying to... I've, I've always been into cars. And um, I've always collected Hot Wheels if I saw one. I was like, oh, I'll get that. But just something happened lately, and I got deep into it, and I just started buying a lot of them and looking for specific ones and getting into the whole world. So I look at those videos and I look at car videos and tech stuff and other things I'm interested in because if I'm editing these videos and living in this world every day and then that's my entertainment, I will lose my mind. 
You know? And that's standard. Like, like it's people are like, oh, did you see this video or that video? I'm like, no. Like at the end of the day, when I want to sit down, I'm going to watch something else. And I do. What's mm-hmm. funny is I don't collect Hot Wheels, but mm-hmm. there's a guy. I like watching things being restored. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And mm-hmm. Those are cool videos. Was, yeah. Very cool. And yeah. I was really into Hot Wheels as a kid, like die hard mm-hmm. as a kid. Now, have you seen what Kevin James, like Ma, uh, Paul Blart Mall Cop mm-hmm. guy, mm-hmm. have you seen Kevin James's channel? No. Uh-uh. He, he's got like 20 videos. It is the best thing on YouTube right now. Really? His videos are two minutes. Mm-hmm. Dude, it is so good. You will have a blast. I laughed until I cried the other day. Okay. And it is so well done. It is shockingly well done. And they're only two minutes long. So that's currently what, what I'm really at? into. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I love Kevin James's channel. I think it's the best channel on YouTube right now. Yeah, there's some people out there killing the YouTube. Like celebrities are getting into the game. I mean... I think uh, Will Smith changed that whole the whole dynamic of that with uh, his channel. He he's done a lot of good stuff. Yeah, you know, um, you know when I watch gun guy stuff, if um, first of all, if I'm doing a video on something, I try not to look at people's videos until I'm done, right? Because yeah. I don't want to I don't want to mess it up. Or if if someone makes a video out there that really catches my attention or it's relative to something happening that I haven't done anything with or whatever, or maybe a fan or someone like that says, you got to look at this video, then I will, you know, I will specifically tune into that. So I'm not trying to say like, I don't look at any gun videos. From there's not enough there. time in the day. And when you're doing this all the time, there's just not enough. Like Brian quick just said, I thought we were all a community. We absolutely yeah, are. Yeah. But there's like over maybe over 500 gun channels and there's just not enough time. Yeah. Plus, we all have other interests. It'll drive you crazy mm-hmm. seeing the same review all the time. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.